Thursday, August 29th. The season opens in 36 hours, and I'm not having a good time broadhead tuning. I was out last night with Andrew. We did some shooting, and though my 20 seems to be on, my 30 and 40 yard shots, they just seem to be erratic, and mostly they seem to be left and right. I just can't get them in. Sometimes they're up and down, and the groups are big, so I'm kind of panicking because it is last minute. So today, Thursday, I'm up here again to try to get these broadheads sighted in. And so what I'm doing today is I'm going to switch broadheads. I've been shooting these guys, and I have six of these to use as practice. And I have brand new ones, I think I said before. But I have here, I have eight of these guys, and so I'm going to sacrifice two or three of them for trying to broadhead tune. Hopefully these will fly. If they don't, I don't know. So this is what I used last year. I had no problems. I had them sighted in all the way out to 50 last year and that was my last pin. I only had four pin fixed last year and that worked out just fine. So I'm going to try these now and see if I can get these to go. I don't know why these are not shooting right because this is the same wind, the same broadhead with the same arrow on my bow. So I'm going to try these here and hopefully they work a little better otherwise i think my next option is to run down the walmart in woodland park get some mechanicals and see if i can get those to fly straight because these aren't doing it for me for some reason this year okay panic time is over thank goodness because that had me really stressed 36 hours out my bow's not shooting right next year i think i'll start sooner with the broadhead tuning and maybe with a, have a more variety of broadheads on hand. But I had the two this year, so uh, as far as that goes, the second one's working out pretty good. My 20, 30, 40 are back on, and I just shot my first 50 yard group, which was actually about the same or maybe a little better than my 40 yard group. So here's that bad boy. So for what it's worth, that target is a, what size? I think it's 18 inches across. I don't know. <laughs> so I think what I'll do now is I'll, uh, give myself a little break and then I don't know where I'm going to shoot the 60 at. I'm going to have to probably relocate a little bit or maybe move the targets backwards. I haven't played with my pins at all, just the scope housing and the uh, rest a little bit left and right. But other than that, I haven't had to mess with my pins and I really don't want to. I don't want to, but I would, but that's where we stand. All right, I just shot two at 60, and I do not normally shoot this good, but here it is. So I think panic time is over, and it's fine tune time. I can shoot today, and I can shoot some tomorrow uh, before the season opens, just to make sure everything's right, but everything seems to be clicking now. It's probably, I probably got to modify my max range and shrink it up a little bit, but man, last night I was terrible, so everything's an improvement right now. All right, three more at 60, and I'm, three more at 60, and I'm pretty happy. Three more at 60, I'm feeling pretty good. Three more at 60 and I've got some confidence back. Three more at 60 and I got some confidence back in my bow. Yeah, two are left, one's a little low, but considering last night, I'll take it. 
All right, three more shots, two at 50 and one at 40. They're both kind of slightly low left, but there's enough wind coming from the right that I'm not comfortable making a correction. But panic is averted. I know I've already said that, but it had me really stressed, really concerned. Now I can just be concerned and anxious for the actual hunting part.